Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time of day this video finds you. It's your boy Jay here, and today, today, we're going to be talking about another weapon. Not too long ago, I made a video talking about blunt weapons in Sunbreak, and today, we're going to be talking about the weapon that was least used throughout Sunbreak's life, and that is the Lance. The, the ever so tried and true poke, poke, poke. That's what we're talking about today. I suppose the biggest question I seek to answer today and offer solutions for is does the Lance need a hunting horn style refresh to shoot up the popularity charts, right? So that it's not last in line once again, right? Uh, hunting horn got a refresh and I mean, to their credit, it worked, right? Hunting horn is not the least popular weapon anymore like it was back in the Iceborne days and also Gunlance got a whole lot of brand new tools that uh, I think Gunlances are very, very happy with. Bullet barrage, come on, baby. Yeah. Ooh, yes. And you know, now the weapon feels a whole lot different than it used to, and uh, it seems that a lot more people are picking up Gunlance than they used to. Not a whole lot, but a lot more than used to. So now that leaves Lance in this awkward spot of, yeah, we're lowest on the tier list as far as usage is concerned. And today I kind of want to explore what new tools should Lance get so that it could shoot up the popularity rankings. I have a couple ideas of how to do so and I want to hear from uh, the dedicated Lancers out there what they think of my ideas and also I'm making this video to start a conversation with the dedicated Lancers out there so I can hear from them directly what they think the weapon needs to shoot up the popularity charts, what new tools they should get, what new moves should they get, maybe the Lance should change focus entirely I'd love to hear and respond to each and every comment that hits this video. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, okay, so let's establish what Lance is for those of you who may have never picked up a Lance ever before. Lance, big pokey stick, you got the best shield in the game. Think of, I'm gonna come back to that later. You got the best shield in the game and you've got great reach, right? And the point of the Lance, from what I understand, I'm not the best Lancer in the world, is you're gonna be able to stick to the monster, damn near always have your weapon out, and you'll never take damage if you're good with knowing when to block and what you can block, and if you uh, bring the skills necessary, such as guard up, uh, you'll always be right next to the monster, just poking, 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 and sidestepping right where you need to be, and you'll stick to the monster like glue and always be dishing out damage, right? And that is like super classic, like old Monster Hunter 1 type Lance, right? Always next to the monster, always unsheathed, ne never moving, you're, you're an unstoppable, immovable object right by the monster's side, blocking anything that could possibly interrupt you and continuing the poking assault, okay? Now, over time, of course, Monster Hunter has gotten faster, right? I mean, Sunrake is blisteringly fast of a game, and the monsters attack more and more frequently, so uh, it, it kind of makes sense where it's like, dang, the idea of standing next to this monster and, you know, sticking to it is kind of not really all that possible, right? And then also, uh, Lance has gotten more tools over the years to become more and more flashy, right? I think that's part of the problem is that Lance is not super flashy. And, you know, it's it's very easy to just be like, oh, Lance ain't got no sauce, bro. It's just poke, 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 jump, poke, 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 jump. However, however, I have a clip for you today from my man Zenoger fan 96636 on the app formerly known as Twitter, where he is demonstrating plenty of sauce that Lance has. You just gotta be skillful enough to activate it. Look at my man saucing all over Primordial right now. I mean, you know, like I think Lance has some real potential to be saucy like crazy with all of these moves, right? And one of the things that's very evident in this clip is that um, being able to time your blocks right is a huge part of what the Lance is now, right? A lot of people are running Insta Block. I mean, Spiral Slash, if you activate it at the perfect timing, you get extra damage from it. And then there's uh, things like Enraged Guard, which was in GU, but also, um, what's it called now? It's called Anchor, Anchor Rage? Yeah, I think it's called Anchor Rage in Sunbreak. Same concept, you push it, and if you block a move during that, you get a buff. Right, and this leads me to one of my first changes that I kind of want to see in the Lance is I want 
insta block slash like anchor rage to kind of mix and be the same thing and always be present in the lance moveset for example if you block a move with the super correct timing you get a bing you get a notification that you did it right right and then your lance will start glowing right now i know that sounds crazy like what i block something with my shield my lance gets powered up i mean charge blade is a whole weapon in this universe and all that thing does is transfer power from the sword to the shield you know what i'm saying let let let, let lance have a little bit of that sauce right and let it always have the ability to insta block and then have that charge the lance up so it does more damage right now of course that would require uh rebalancing like base lance a little bit to make it maybe a little bit weaker that way in the supercharged up state that you could keep uh up for infinity if you're good enough right which would reward skill um to keep it up as long as you want but yeah i think that's something that the lance should almost always have if you block with the correct timing then boom, you're gonna get rewarded for it massively for having the skill to know the monster that well. And, uh, but I do want it to have, like, I guess none of the downsides. Like, you could keep the regular block, right? If you miss the timing, you just get a regular block, you slide back, whatever, no big deal. You still have the best shield in the game, right? And that's kind of where a lot of, a little bit of my tweaks are gonna come from is taking advantage of this fact that you have the best shield in the game and you should be rewarded for being perfectly defensive and really countering the monster perfectly right i mean lance was used to be the the counter weapon right you block you poke you block you poke you have a counter block but then you know longsword came along in the fifth gen and kind of stole its thunder a little bit now lance ain't really the counter master it once was let's bring it back but let's use the shield as the uh as the catalyst for it to bring back that counter master identity right so now you have two different types of uh countering weapons right one that's a little bit more safe right still safe enough for newbie players who maybe aren't familiar with the monsters if you want to turtle up use your shield to keep yourself from out of harm's way great or for advanced players who will always land those perfect blocks and keep that lance powered up as long as possible because they're so skillful with it they're so crazy with it that they'll be doing insane damage and countering each and every monster attack how does that sound for a weapon okay so now that we've talked about maybe changing the weapon's identity just a touch by leaning more into uh the shield capabilities of of the weapon and by making it a little bit more counter focused in buffing the shield uh let's talk about another huge part about lance that i think would make it more fun to play and more enjoyable right and it's something that i really liked coming out of rise and sunbreak's lance uh, that I don't use as often anymore, admittedly, but it was really fun when I did use it. And that is Twin Vine, right? The skill Twin Vine. Now, uh, maybe it doesn't exactly have to be Twin Vine because it won't make sense in the next game because I don't think Wire Bugs will be sticking around. I'm not going to be mad if they do, but I don't think Wire Bugs is going to be sticking around. So it could be like maybe a hook with a string or something that will allow you to pull yourself to the monster, which would kind of lead back into that Lance identity that I talked about always sticking right by the monster being able to block whatever comes your way and now with this twin vine type move you can just stick right by the monster you're always there jumping across the arenas it's mad fun to use twin vine and just fly all over the place and stick with the monster that way you can continue the assault right i think that paired with the more powerful shield that rewards great timing and buffs you and makes you stronger by you know being skillful and uh landing those counters along with that twin vine like move it doesn't have to be exactly twin vine but some sort of movement to make the lance appear more mobile right even though you are this turtle right this immovable object that doesn't mean you gotta move slow right i mean the monsters are getting faster and faster uh i personally hope that they slow down monster hunter 6 a little bit but still uh, i want the lance to feel good to have in your hands right and although it has been getting better right i mean back in gu you couldn't hop forward and that kills me anytime i go back and play lance in that game but uh yeah the hop forward is nice and you pair it with uh evade extender it's pretty decent but man that twin vine being able to jump across because these monsters are getting crazier and crazier and their ability to uh you know jump around and move around a lot 
is getting more and more advanced so i think the lance would benefit greatly from being able to attach itself to the monster somehow in a twin vine like way and maybe even reduce the cost of such a move right uh you know it used to cost a wire bug back then and, that, and that, that's kind of a you know a big cost and i want it to last quite a while too like until the monster leaves the area uh or until you move too far away from the monster maybe you can tighten up the distance that way uh when you're fighting like an arena quest monster it's not just going to be up 100 percent for free right you still got to maintain you know some semblance of close distance but like in rise and sunbreak it glows red right before it pops and then you got to reset it but i think lance would greatly benefit from keeping that twin vine and then also buffing that shield man i think that weapon would be really really dope and it would really open up the skill ceiling and let people really try it and really get into uh how interesting and fun the lance could be to play by making it focus more on a counter uh based play style that is similar to the to the uh long sword which is the most played weapon in the game so it'd be easy to transfer from lance to uh to long sword which would get i think more people to play it uh but yeah those are some of my ideas for making lance uh you know a bit more popular and then you can add flashy you know switch skills on top of that if you want you know your spiral thrusts and your your uh your vertical thrusts or whatever uh i mean make them more powerful of course if switch skills do return but uh yeah i think insta block and anchor rage should be wrapped up into one move and i think lancers should almost always have access to some sort of twin vine so they can keep up with these super fast monsters that we're now starting to get uh so yeah that's pretty much i think all the lance really needs uh maybe if like we want to get into the nitty gritty of it uh maybe lance can come with an innate like one point of guard up and one point of guard so that it truly is the best shield in the game and so that the the skill cost of running those are lower because now you can you know run four and four and now you'll have max guard up and max guard opening you up to bring more offensive based skills so that your dps could stay super duper high but uh yeah those are the changes that i kind of want to see for lance i think it would make the lance way more popular uh lancers if you're a lance main if you're dedicated to the lance cause let me know in the comments down below and tell me what you think of my ideas add to them let me know if i'm off like i said i'm not a super uh deep you know oh yeah I'm, I'm the lance i've been lancing for years no 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 that's that's me with hammer i'm actually relatively new to the lance gang but hey let me know in the comments down below what you think of my ideas add your ideas to it let's have a healthy discussion in the comments like we always do i love you guys i'll reply to each and every comment that hits this video and as always people happy happy hunting peace